Hey, what's up everyone? Fear here with another video. Today's video is going to be on Larry. And with Larry, I like to start a little more passive. Um, you definitely need to be a little safer in the early game because he's very squishy. And coffee is viable, but I don't run coffee on Larry because I really like the double nitro items. I run nitro shotgun and nitro bow. So we're pretty starved here at the start. Um, I think my only option right now is to just head back and try and get that health kit from that guard. Unfortunately, this Nyx rolled up. A little mistake. I just had to check the igloo for a couple more items. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge to, to come back from this. Uh, but we run into a, a pretty easy kill there with level 9 Lizzie. Getting harassed by this pepper though. Very annoying. Okay, that was lucky that he missed that. We can take him out. Hopefully get his bow. A little too aggressive there by him, but helpful for us. We're still going to be looking to upgrade our bow and shotgun pretty quickly. Um, this is not ideal at all, but with Larry, um, you generally just want to look to poke, take fights you know you can win, kind of run in and run out, um, you know, just just play it safe. Um, you know, he is squishier, but you can play around his ability, and, uh, and yeah, that's how you should play Larry. Running into a Shelly here. I think Ape is a Chinese player. Part of that Chinese clan. Just gonna disengage from that real quick. Take this Molly out. Generally, trying to kill Shellys is a pretty big waste of time for Larry, especially high level Shellys. Somebody has the legendary weapon, I'm not sure where. I guess uh, since no one else is around, I'm just look to take out the Shelly. Oh, we've lost track of her. Oh, there she is. Uh, but yeah, so the reason you want to kind of avoid like tanks as Larry is because if you get committed to a fight with a tank and then all of a sudden um, someone else rolls up, you know, like a DPS, then you're pretty, you're pretty fucked. So that's why you want to make sure that you can take them out before you commit. Pretty good first game there. We're gonna hop right into the second game. And in this game, we'll discuss a little more about uh, the meta for Larry. So if you run coffee, you can definitely start a little more aggressive, um, as I've said in the past, but in general, you want to still be a little more passive than, than you would on a character like Buck because of how weak he is early game. I, I'm, a, I'm repeating myself a little here from the last last game, but it, just emphasizing how important that is. Let's see if we can take this legendary guard out. And the legendary guard is similar to fighting tanks. You know, if you're committed to, to killing a legendary guard and you're not properly looted up and someone else comes, you're, you could be very very screwed you know it's just a situation that you want to make sure you're being smart about I see it, it happen a lot I'll be killing the legendary guard and other players will come up uh, and and they'll die pretty quickly because they don't assess the situation you know I'm killing it and it's almost dead I have the proper loot and then they they end up killing themselves trying to get the legendary but they didn't have to you know they could have just waited their distance or tried to make a play once the legendary drops you know however if someone is fighting the legendary guard and you know they're weak then that's definitely a time you should be pushing so larry specific tips um there's two kinds of play styles the play style i'm playing that you're seeing in this video is hyper aggressive i'm not really using my ability that much because i i'm just such a high level that I can just run around and, and try and kill everybody I see. But if you're playing a little lower level, try and look to run in and run out. So, you know, um, use your ability, 
uh, run up on somebody and poke them, use your shotgun and your bow and your spear, um, and then run away. And then just play around your ability. You know, I'll, I'll try and show an example here if we can find somebody to do it on who won't die instantly. So, okay, here's a good example. Molly. Okay, okay never mind. Uh, <laughs> We'll try and find somebody else. Uh, tanks, tanks are really good to, to poke. Tanks are the best example. So Pepper here. All right, we're running in, and now we run away. We're just waiting for our stuff to come back up. Running in, now running away. Now, obviously, I didn't have to do that, but that's the general idea with Larry. Um, you don't want to really commit to anything that you're not sure you can win 100%, because if you do, and you aren't sure then there's a good chance that things can go sideways really quickly uh, I think Larry is one of the most aggressive and and high skill ceiling characters uh, not aggressive that's that's not the right word I think he's just one of the most high skill ceiling characters and what I mean by that is um, there's a lot of really really good plays you can make with Larry and it requires a lot of skill to pull them off so this video is going to be a little different. Uh, this one's going to have four matches, and the reason is because Larry is such a diverse character in that there's a lot of different playstyles that are very, very viable, and I don't think any specific build or playstyle is correct. So in this game, I'm running Helium Canister, and Helium Canister provides a lot of control over your enemies and over items. Because of Larry's passive, you can really work around that and work around Helium Canister. And I just wanna emphasize how important it is to try and think of how you wanna play the game. Don't just play the game because you see someone else doing something. Don't try and copy that if you don't like that or um, if you don't know for sure whether that's correct. Just because someone else is doing it doesn't mean you should too. Now. For sure, I'm trying my best to provide you guys uh, the most informed information possible, and I think my builds definitely apply to a lot of situations, but there's definitely times in my videos where I've said stuff that really only applies to people who are, uh, you know, in the high level range, 14 plus. So like Larry, for example, you know, that's why I'm trying to show this. Helium Canister has such good control, and I think it's great on players uh, builds who really want to play Larry uh, in a way that allows for that control where you're really poking, you're running away, you're being unpredictable, um, and you can see how powerful it is to play the Helium Canister build um, because Larry's cooldown is refundable. So you see, you can tap it, and then when you come out of stealth, depending on how long you used, uh, the remaining time gets refunded which is what makes Helium Canister work so well on, on a character like Larry. We are getting harassed by this Nyx a little bit, so we're gonna have to disengage from this situation. Just gonna reposition myself, reset, and we'll look to flank them over here once our cooldowns are up. Take this Nyx out first, another, another Larry. Unfortunately, couldn't pop my shields there quick enough before I proc the health kit, but we can take this Nyx out now. No choice but to go through here. I'm just getting hit by everything. It's okay, I'm gonna pick up this health kit now. Okay. Uh, I guess he thought he could kill me there, but adrenaline shot is quite good. <laughs> and I'm gonna look to close it out now. Hopefully you guys have seen just how powerful this can be. I'm gonna do a little, <laughs> do something funny here. <laughs> Pay homage to my other video, abusing helium canister on Larry. I'm just pushing people into the fire. <laughs> it's gotta be the most annoying thing. Thankfully I haven't had it done to me that much. Um, I know Potato runs helium canister and he's really good at it. He can be very annoying to fight sometimes, but other than that, you know, I haven't been uh, too unlucky to run into that. All right, so now you can see the difference between the two builds and just how different they are, but at the same time, they both work. And in this last game, I'm gonna switch back to the normal build and we'll do some shout outs. 
Okay, so shout out to Avocado637. What is your kill record? No, actually, yeah, this is the right video. What is your kill record? Uh, I think I had 21 kills in one game. This was a while ago. Um, it was on Molly, and I had spawned where all the guards were. So I really just kind of killed all the guards. You know, every game has 15 guards and 20 players. So the more guards you kill, you know, which count towards your kills, obviously the higher your kill count's gonna be. And guards are just, you know, free kills, so. Uh, this is not a good situation that we're in right now. Thankfully, we're gonna be able to take that legendary though. But we weren't able to get the health kit, so now we're in dire straits, but we'll see. Okay, we were able to recover. Zojo, Fear, can I join your clan? Uh, yeah, you can join if you meet the requirements. Any, everyone's welcome as long as they meet the requirements. And if you don't meet the requirements to the main Labyrinth clan, you can join another Labyrinth for sure. We uh, we accept everyone. Just trying to be uh, as big of a positive gaming community as we can in, 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 uh, in Zuba. Um, shout out to High Deer. Nice video. Thank you, thank you, buddy. Uh, Vindaver27, which items should I avoid leveling up as a beginner? Should I just upgrade every single item except happy treats? Uh, yeah, um, you can avoid a lot of a lot of items as a beginner. Try and get your adrenaline shot up, your vampire teeth up. Um, cluster bombs, another really important one. Those are all top tier items. Um, Nitro stuff is good to level. It's cheap. Jungle shoes for sure. Wake up coffee. Um, I have a spreadsheet linked in the description of all my videos, and it'll show you the ratings of the items, in my opinion. Uh, and, and you can see just how good items compare to each other. I just use the standard um, F to S gaming system to rate items on a tier, tier scale. Fayez, hey bro, I just want to thank you for your tips. Also, I want to ask you about the best way to unlock a new character rather than buy the legendary crate. Uh, just playing the game, just get gold crates, and pray, that's it, it's just luck, really. That's a pretty bad choke. So you wanna see, like, if you're in a choke like this um, on Larry, thankfully we can avoid detection, but avoid uh, getting stuck on bridges like that when you're sandwiched between enemies. It can be pretty bad. Okay, he's running Nitro Spear, that's super annoying. Outcast, you forgot to do the fuzzy need for speed build. I got you, buddy. We'll do it in another video. I know I forgot. I, um, I realized just when it was too late when I was editing. Acor says you should make a new account and fight with level 10 to 12. Yeah, I can definitely do that at some point. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely a good idea, and it would be more appealing to most of the Zuba community, as not everyone is level 16. <laughs> Um, very few people, actually, and I understand that. Shout out to Kak Porovsky, the best Zuba player. Thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate the support. Um, Alan Hamed. Hey, Fear, I think you should do more videos with Luke. Yeah, Luke hasn't played in a while, but if he does get on and, you know, I'm recording a video for sure, I'll get him in there. Mole28008. Hey, do you have any tips on tracking your target? I always try to find where they will be and I have no, when I have no vision on them, but characters like Larry are hard to predict. Yeah, so it just comes down to um, experience. The more fights you get into and the more running around you do in every game, the more experience you become. You can start predicting what people are gonna do, you know, when Nyxes are gonna dash, all that good stuff. Fear, I would like to see videos of ranking every Zuba character in gameplay. Shout out to you, Agnes B. Yeah, um, down the road for sure we can look to do something like that. But right now I'm just focused on the gameplay series. I want to get a, a gameplay out for every character. Shout out to Felipe Scalon. Nice video, I really love it. I don't have the vampire teeth, but I have happy trees. Do you think it is a good substitute? Yeah, it is a good substitute if you don't have the vampire teeth. It's weaker, but you can use it for sure. Hey Fear, when talking about leveling items versus characters, what would that also matter depending on what level your character is? Such as being a level 10 with level 6 items versus being level 7 items. Yeah, absolutely. Prioritize being level 10 with your character first. That way you can have 4 items. That's way more important than maxing out your items. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you learned something. Any questions, comments, concerns, or if you want to shout out, leave a comment and you might get one in the next video. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting!